Hi, I'm Radu Popescu. Today I'm going to talk about EXE setup and bootstrappers. Advanced Installer comes with a setup program that can be used as a bootstrapper. This is useful if you want to create an EXE installation package or if your package has some prerequisites. In this example, we have an application that contains some files, some register keys and a prerequisite. To build your application, navigate to Builds page and select EXE setup. If you build your EXE setup with the installation file outside, the bootstrapper will use an INI file to store its settings. The setup program supports all MSI exec command line options, basically all the command line parameters you can use for an MSI package. A command line received by the EXE bootstrapper will be passed to MSI exec when launching the main MSI. The command line overrides the one specified in the installation options from the configuration settings tab. Let's see an example of an uninstall command passed to the EXE setup program. The slash slash marker is automatically replaced by the EXE bootstrapper with the path to MSI. MSI command line parameters need to be appended to this command. The command will be automatically converted by the bootstrapper to something like this. To see all the setup EXE switches, type the slash question mark. Here you can view commands like extract, XNO UI, list lengths, username, and so on. When passing command lines to an XS setup, you cannot mix them with the standard MSI ones. The correct order is to first specify the XS switches and then the standard MSI ones. For example, here is a correct command line, as opposed to this one which is not correct. When it comes to return codes, the XE bootstrapper will return minus one when the user presses the cancel, or one when the XE bootstrapper is launched with a wrong value for AES password parameter. Otherwise, it will show the return codes by the MSI exec after running the main MSI. For more guides and tutorials, check out the Advanced Installer YouTube channel and Advanced Installer blog.